I'll do a count to lead it in. One, two, three, four. Tighter sound. Tighter sound. Feel free to experiment around a little bit. things I should mention now is that first off neither the rhythm through there nor the improvising part over the rhythm were what I would consider the ideal but I think you get the point nonetheless hey what's up everyone how y'all doing I hope you're having a good Tuesday morning oh man I'm excited for this stream guys I got like nothing else to do today so I'm planning on just hanging out here for a while and doing some transcribing. Um, a small reminder that everything that we do in these live transcriptions ends up on the website. So if you've been watching the last couple streams and you're like, hey, where do I get the tabs for that? All you gotta do is go to lessonswithmarcel.com and those should all be up there by now. Um, so definitely go check those out. Also, you can watch all the old live streams. People have been asking me about this. If you, if you go to uh, my channel and you hit the playlist button, there's a playlist called Full Past Live Streams. It's just got every live stream I've ever done. You can watch the whole thing completely. Um, hopefully someone will see that. Right, what do we got here? Hey, what's up, Jim? What's up, Jameson? What's up, Gary? Um, Peak Porter. 
Seth, how you doing? All right. You guys like doing my time? Good. Josh Williams, Jensen Sullivan is a good suggestion. Larry Sparks, under the double eagle. We could do that. Um, would I be able to transcribe any Dilbert licks from Tony Rice songs for guitar? You want like Jerry Douglas licks on the guitar? I'm not sure, man. That We, we probably could do that, but that's kind of a tough one. Gary, you like my shirt? Thank you, man. It's a good excuse to shamelessly plug the Lessons with Marcel merch. Yeah, check it out, guys. Um, you guys, you guys know the rules, but I'm going to say it again, just in case anyone anyone doesn't. We don't have a ton of people here right now, but you know, just for funsies, um, definitely looking for shorter things, looking for like things from vocal tunes, um, fiddle tunes. It can be tough because the breaks are a little bit longer, but I want to like find stuff I can bust out real quick, um, and I'm just going to hop into it. I've already I've already yammered enough. Let's check out this Josh Williams, Jensen Sullivan. Why not? I assume this is just kind of the uh, Tony Rice break. Um, nothing against that. I just know that Josh Williams does a lot of like Tony Rice tribute stuff. So I assume that he's playing more or less the Tony Rice break. Um, let's find out. Yeah, that's definitely that. That's the TR break, um, which is already on my website. Um, actually, I actually think it's the first live stream that we ever did. I think I transcribed uh, Tony Rice's Ginseng Sullivan. Um, so yeah, nothing wrong with that. I'm sure there's some like minor differences, but he's he's playing the Tony Rice kick. Um, so you can look that one up and you can get close. Um, hope that helps, Jameson. I'm not trying to shirk your challenge. I just don't want to transcribe something I've already transcribed. Um, what else we got? Um, I see under the double eagle, Larry Sparks. Do you guys hear this sweet vacuum action? You hear that? <laughs> uh, vacuum solo. Hopefully that's not as annoying as hell. We have some family coming to visit. I assume that KJ is just out there vacuuming. Maybe someone broke into my house and is vacuuming my home for me. There's always that too. Maybe you guys can't even hear the vacuum. All right, let's find this uh, under the double eagle. What key is the vacuum? Oh man, that's a good question. Wait a second, let's follow this thread. I can no longer hear the vacuum. Wait a second, wait a second. Let me listen to my own live stream. Let's do this back. Uh, back. Do you guys hear this sweet vacuum action? You hear that? It sounds like the vacuum is uh, roughly in G. <laughs> There's definitely some modulation, I think, with the, with the speed with which you vacuum. But I heard a good chunk of G just by listening back to the stream. So, yeah, we're in good hands, man. If you're going to vacuum, do it in the people's key. The people's key of G. Uh, Axeman <laughs> asks if I'm a mason. I'm not, man. This is a Lessons with Myself shirt. This is a uh, this is an Illuminati eye, um, but it's funny, right? Instead, it says tone, volume, and speed, and it's got my old address. <laughs> it's a goof. Although it's funny that you bring that up, man. I'll tell you why it's funny. Uh, because when I was in um, when I was in high school, I uh, I found this belt buckle, and it's actually still my belt buckle. I wear it all the time. It's in the other room. Hey, let me grab it. This is a funny story. So 
So check it out. I got this belt buckle when I was like 16 at an antique store. And I thought this was like funny to have a <laughs> like a Shriner uh, belt buckle. You know, they're the guys that wear the fez hats and like drive the golf carts in the parade. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I thought that at some point I would be, you know, tackled to the ground by a bunch of old dudes in fez caps and they would tell me to take off the belt buckle, but it never happened. Um, and I still wear that belt buckle because I still think it's funny. But recently <laughs> I got this ring, which is also a Shriner <laughs> ring, and it's got the same little logo on it. And uh, I've been wearing it because it matches, matches my belt buckle and it's there's no reason for this. <laughs> I have I have no association, but I think it's very funny. Uh, so one day I will be run down by people in go-karts. We'll see. Hopefully I make it out. But yeah, we're representing all different secret societies today. All right, guys. Gary, thanks for that. We gotta find some more suggestions though. What do you guys got? Um, oh, I see one. I see one that I didn't look at yet. Return of the vacuum. Um, Steve Earls. Uh, Tom Ames Prayer? I don't know this tune. Um, but I can try it. If I want a neck of dough, just new time, man, dollar bill in the tuck. That's the law, you look and run out fast. Sorry, I, I gotta use this game and win. I was playing with the old fucking me. Here, look at the man. I hope that's not the, uh, I hope this isn't the guitar break that you're thinking of. Same thing, back in the day. Because that's a mandolin break. Takes no cheers. And tell me, tell me that's uh, tell me if you want that or not. And I want a little piece of the throat, and I'll give you the key. Oh, this is it. The homemade blade of that old throat, and I'll give you the key. Hey, hey, Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a guitar break, and this is like super different for us. Let's do it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in for this. Um. Hey, what's up, Hangover? Um. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's do it. So let's figure out what key we're in. Hey, we're in G. We're in tune with the vacuum. Sweet. So get a kid on front of the Christmas, but it turns the back on me. I found a homemade blade that had a dual throat. That's a deputy for the key. Hey, hey. That's funny. It's kind of like the uh, Blue Ridge Cabin home kick. <laughs> Uh, da -da 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 -da. No problem, Brian. Happy to help. Something like that. You're hearing an echo when I play the song. That's a fun mystery to solve. That is a fun mystery indeed to solve. You hear an echo when I play the song. 
Let's figure it out. Maybe you're hearing my headphones. But also, I'm going to investigate the mystery. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 I hear that echo. Yeah, why is that happening? Thanks guys, thanks for pointing that out. Here, let's see, this should be better. Yeah, that was just, that was my mistake. Sorry guys. If you ever hear anything like that, you let me know, but that, that should fix it, I think. You still hear an echo. Let's find out. Yes, sounds right now. Okay, thanks, Brian. this and I don't want to forget it but there was something in between that and It's almost like, uh, I mean, some of these notes are kind of hard to hear. So I'm going to make some educated guesses. Um, and I'm sure I'll be able to make some better guesses as I go farther and farther. But, uh, you know. Huh, I keep writing this line wrong. I swear I played it right at some point. Uh, okay. like a bunch of just open strings that get hit. I also hear a note right here. I'm gonna put these in parentheses because they're they're kind of flubbed. It's kind of hard to tell what they are. Um, keep it going. I think it was that. I think it was a C chord and a boom checker.
Yeah, less of a boom check, more of like a little arpeggio guy. like that. Hey, what's up? Grateful Brad. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out, man. We'll get some lunch. <laughs> oh, man, I do got to come to Maine, man. I got I got some friends in Portland, Maine. I got to go visit. Uh, thanks for hanging out, though, dude. You have a nice one. Um, what do we got here? Um, oh, guys. Don't worry about it. There was a... Um, uh, this is a... a uh, another like funny little thing that happened, but for a long time on my videos, there was always someone who would who would downvote just one time. And there was a period when the when the channel was starting to do okay, where like every single video would just have one thumbs down on it, and uh, it was it like it kind of became comical, it became a joke. And I even joked about it in the beginning of a couple of videos, like, "Hey everyone, how you doing?" Except for the one guy that down, you know, uh, downvotes all my videos, and. Uh, at some point it just stopped. Uh, I don't know who it was, but maybe it's a, a, a return of the masked thumbs down bandit. <laughs> that dude, <laughs> that dude was, was a homeboy for a long time. And that's cool, man. You know, he, he kept me honest. He kept my averages real. Hey, that's the Mickey Mouse tag. You guys know this? Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse tag right here? Uh, M-O-U-S-E. Just like the Mickey Mouse Lisa. Mickey Mouse Donald Duck. I hear, I hear the, the other note in there too. Sounds like this one. It's like a little bit of kind of a little bit of a BSC -E strum right there. It's not really hitting anything in particular. It's just kind of quiet in the background. Um, and then he slides up. I just want it to be the Mickey Mouse tag. It's not actually. That sounds like an open D string now that I really listen to it. Like a Salt Creek thing? I'm gonna have to slow this down. There's an open string in there. I wanna hear which one it is and what's happening. Yeah, it sounds like a minor third, which means the rubbing of the open string is probably the open B string. It's not though. It's um it's a flat five. Interesting. So it sounds like a brief slide up. And then we're doing like the salt creek thing. Ba -do -da -do. Open E. Doesn't get all the way to the C when he does the flat five. And does the minor to major third thing. All kinds of stock phrases. Oh, 
Okay, so he's not using the fretted B string. It's the open B string. Very minor pentatonic. Um, hey, see you later, Hangover. Have fun at the dunes, man. Oh, playback is gone. Thanks, guys. Let's make sure that's true everywhere. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, let's keep going. Let's uh, let's recap maybe some of the stuff that we have. If I lost playback, just so you guys can can catch up on what I did. something like this next um but yeah there you go that's as far as we got i'm gonna slow it back down let's keep going This one uh, should be open G, not open B. he played this whole line before. Um, yeah, this is all relatively the same as this. In fact, this might be a clue as to these two bum notes if I can hear it better this time. It sounds like it sounds like the C. Um, it sounds like I had it right this time. So with the cooperation of the the new time, I think I'm just gonna accept that that's probably what it is, which is good. Let's go. So this is all the same as well. Good, good, good. Whenever I hear this piece of music, um, I think of the, the Christmas song. tune that is so I believe it's a Christmas tune whenever I see this little piece of language that's all I can think of I, 
think what he's trying to play, it sounds like his pick gets a little caught there and he ends up playing some extra notes. He's trying to play a line like this. I'm going to I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and I'm going to assume that he he this this funky thing that happens here is on purpose. And we're going to try to turn it into like a little lick here. I cuz if you play it like this it kind of makes sense with the recording. I think it's just hard to hear maybe. Yeah, that's that's got to be it. Cool. I'm going to turn off the she music real quick so I can play along to it. Let's try to get it all on the screen at the same time. Cool, looks nice. Oh, whoops. And let's get my guitar up. If I can hit the right buttons. And uh, let's see if I can play along to this thing. there we played it we did it i'm free of it <laughs> all right cool yeah this was a fun one uh brad this was your suggestion right maybe not maybe it wasn't brad maybe it was brian it was brian brian m don't let me, don't let me get confused. All right, cool. I'm gonna slam through these pick strokes real quick. Let's type all of these in. I wish there was something that did this automatically, but there's not. Guitar Pro isn't returning my phone calls. One day we'll get them on the horn and we'll ask them about this pick stroke thing. But for now, we gotta write them all individually, which is fine. It means that I make fun mistakes. And then weeks later, someone points out that I forgot a pick stroke on a tab that's been published and hundreds of people have downloaded it. <laughs> oh yeah, I should, go, I should go fix that and add that pick stroke in. Oh well. Okay. Getting close, getting close to the end. Okay, cool. Um, no capo was involved in the making of this film. So I'm gonna go in and fix the accidentals. Um, it's already got the right key signature on it. I didn't put in the chords, but hey, no one's perfect, right? Let's put the name on this thing. Um, something like that. And something like this. Cool. And then save your work. Hey, if you're working from home, save your work. And I feel like I've been hearing a lot of Steve Earle lately, actually. We watched Talladega Nights <laughs> yesterday, and um, that has a bunch of Steve Earle on it, too. Um, and then at uh, at a bar on 4th of July, we heard some, too. It's weird. I feel like my, my life has become uh, like Steve Earle themed. Oh, we saw him in a documentary, too. Um, weird. Hey, what's up, Mike? How you doing? 
Happy to help, Brian. All right, guys. We're ready for another suggestion. And I see some suggestions. Silver Bells. Guys, thank you so much for telling me it's Silver Bells. I would never have remembered that. P. Allen, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Steel Wheels, Billy Strings, Don Julian, and the Stray Birds. Right for Atlanta Blues, 151. Look away if you don't want to see Billy in surf shorts. And that is the best suggestion. Dean knows how to grab my attention. That might be the one. Um... <laughs> Jim, I don't know if Earl is actually the guitar player on this. I don't know if he plays lead. I, I just don't know enough to, to tell you. Um, anyway. I like, and Brian's like, hey, this is the song of Talladega Nights. You know, man. <laughs> um, okay. Brian, did you suggest another one? I don't know if you're going to get another one today, man. Has that happened? Does anyone know if that's happened? If I've transcribed multiple suggestions from the same person in the same stream? Um, if anyone would know, Mike would know. Um, let's see. Dean, I love your suggestion. And you got you got you got the timestamp and everything. You know exactly how I like it. Let's look at that real quick. I got a funny story about the um, about the stray birds. I don't think I've told this on stream, but um, the stray birds were briefly the. By the way, I'm bringing this up because they're they're on this video, right? They're some of the people performing. Um, the stray birds briefly owned my guitar. This guitar, the one I'm always playing and transcribing on, the 35, they briefly own this. <laughs> so you can find uh, real old videos of the Stray Birds performing, and they have my guitar. Uh, let's see if we can find one. Um, we gotta, we gotta look way back in time. Okay, yeah, like this one. That's my guitar. And when I say my guitar, I mean the one that I have on indefinite loan for my friend. <laughs> yeah, look, you can see the three panel back back there. That is literally <laughs> my D35. <laughs> it is the one. Anyway, back to back to Dean's suggestion, yeah. Here we go. Let's listen to this break. Joey Pilot caught the slip, my D35. He knows. He knows the truth. He, he knows my dark secret. Yeah, we'll probably do this one. Um, Gary, I see you. Don't worry, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about these shorts. They're a little iffy. We'll we'll possibly let it slide.
Ah, right. Yes. Makes sense. Cool. I got the key. He was just a young William Strings. Yes, he was. Perhaps just a William String. Don't if it doesn't grab you. Dean, don't tell me what to do, okay? I'm a grown man. I can do what I want. Joey, are you suggesting that Billy Strings had to had had to like mature into full adulthood before he was allowed to purchase pants? I don't I don't know if I agree with that, man. I bet we can find a video of a of a young William Strings in <laughs> in a pair of slacks. <laughs> in a pair of Belk dress pants that his grandma helped him buy for church. Uh, <laughs> all right. Keep just not listening. Okay, do da da do da. Yeah, we'll put these little bands here. I don't know. Why don't we say half step up to that dominant seventh? Down, down, beta, do da. You can only speak from your own experience. I don't think there's another eight nut there. You rock the jorts all the time? Maybe we should do some kind of jort stream. <laughs> uh, have you guys seen the, uh, the David, what's his name? David Brian Gilbert, Brian David Gilbert, David Brian Gilbert, his uh, video on how to make jorts. If you guys haven't seen that video, you should go watch that video. Perhaps from all this jort and jean short talk, we should go watch that video. Maybe in a bit. All right, six note pattern. He's doing the, he's doing the Jimmy Page over here. <laughs> he does it a handful of times. Sounds like a kind of a weird chord. Went to see Trey and Rob last weekend and only caught the last 30 seconds of their set. Dude, what are you doing with your life? You only caught the last 30 seconds? <laughs> you caught like the very end of Friend of the Devil? <laughs> that sucks, man. <laughs> Don't cut him too sure he'll end up with Daisy Dukes. <laughs> I'm not sure that the Grateful Dead really rocked the Daisy Dukes.
Okay. Yeah, get out of this weird section. Um, da -da -da -da. This is okay. Wait, let's let's talk about this for a second. This is kind of a, um, a popular Tony Rice move that we see a lot, right? I made a meme out of that. Um, actually, a couple of weeks ago, if not last week, we transcribed the break that the meme is from. Um, and this is the Lester Flat G run, right? So it's kind of like he's he's hinting at and recycling this idea of the Lester Flat G run over and over and over again um, before he finally commits to finishing the phrase. This is like a good thing to be good at. This is something you should definitely practice. Uh, because sometimes all you, the best you can do is to fill time, is to waste time. And this is the kind of line that does that. It just eats and eats and eats up time until you're ready to lay down another like real idea. Um, it was a catastrophe. It hit tons of traffic and went to the wrong place at first. <laughs> but you saw, you saw Mountain Heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bummer, dude. Sorry to hear that. So he's not even going to play the very last note of the G run. He's going to segue into the F chord again as it comes back around. Cool stuff. All right. So classic cross picking stuff. And I think he's going to just keep playing over the bar line. That's why it's interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he takes this whole phrase right here. And he plays it again. And he just lets it work out over the measures. Uh, cool. Not sure how clearly he actually hits those. What's he doing now? Do do da da do da. Um, Magna PI. That's something I can get behind, man. Those are some shorts. got another repeater this is this is one thing that Billy strings does that isn't very bluegrassy at all if you look at this break already he's used a handful of repeaters right this lick <clears throat> is a repeater and he's used it three times in a row Right. Um, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to fault him for this one because um, he didn't use it that much. Tony Rice, I think, uses it more egregiously. But then here's another repeater right here, of course. Right. And then he's about to start this uh, other one right here. And that's not something that we see like a ton in bluegrass guitar playing in general. It's generally not really about repeaters. Um, it's normally just like long continuing linear lines um so sometimes when i see this i'm like whoa this is like 
um, you know, like uh, kind of introducing this whole jam band element to bluegrass, which is what Billy's known for. Ad- admittedly, I can't fault him for that or anything. But when you hear traditionalists um, complain about Billy strings, this is one of the things for sure. This is one of the things. Hmm. What happens? So it's almost like right here, he does this chromatic thing down to like this C shape. And he's possibly playing all those with double stops. People complain about Billy Strings? Yeah, people do. Um, they probably complain because they're jealous of Billy Strings. Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the the crowd would clap on two and four if you paid him. I assume you all have seen the video of um, Harry Connick Jr. Uh, forcing the crowd to clap on two and four by slipping in a measure of five four into a bunch of measures of four four. Is that sick? Is there a bluegrass police too? There is a bluegrass police. They're a Japanese bluegrass band. They don't do much police work or detective work. They mostly just play bluegrass. Um, my complaint is he's not playing near me this summer. <laughs> It's very much a Doc Watson style break and licks. So yes, some of these are Doc Watson licks, but the, the way he puts them together is definitely more jam bandy or rock blues like we're all talking about here. Yeah, you know, you're, you're totally right. You know, Doc would do this, but the idea of making this a, a six note pattern and then repeating it over and over again, I mean, that's that's a straight up Jimmy Page move. Right, that's not, that's not what Doc does anymore. Um, you know, this lick, the way it's played, it has more in common with like, like the most Jimmy Page lick ever. Like. <laughs> right, he's taken Doc Watson and he's like infused it with this other thing. Um, they have a much better bluegrass justice system in Japan. It's true, they do. Um, I'm with you, Joey. No one can deny that. Let's see. Let's listen to a, a quick little bit of Bluegrass Police, just because I want everyone to appreciate the bangers that Bluegrass Police comes out with. Um, I think I like this one. Yeah, I love this one. Okay, we're good. I want you guys to experience real music for, for a change, you know? Tanken ni 
ゆこう、僕と一緒に。いろんなものを見て、驚きの声を上げよう。Imagine these guys breaking down your door and they're like, Are you listening to Billy Strings in here? <laughs> <laughs> They repel from the ceiling like a Mission Impossible, full tactical bluegrass gear, <laughs> a belt with all 12 harmonicas. Like. All right, I'm satisfied. Doesn't sound like traditional bluegrass to me, sounds like jazz. Well, you're in luck, man, because these guys slay traditional bluegrass as well.、Um, let's see. This is, this is the police. You think the police don't play traditional bluegrass? I mean, camera focus, one out of ten. Why is it focused on this one piece of the mic stand? Performance, ten out of ten. Excellent. Okay, we're, 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 we're done here. We've, we've, we've taken a detour. Let's get back to Billy. Sounds like the next one is a slide. <laughs> hey man, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well, man. We we're just watching some Japanese bluegrass. There's some,、uh, there's some comments coming out. Um, 
I'm just satisfied with this. I've made a mistake here. Is this, is this the, what's happening? Okay, so yeah, then there's the slide. He's going back. I assume like this, because that would be the same pattern. I think he plays that note again. I think he does that. I think that's what's happening. I don't know how the F chord ends, but that's what's happening in that middle moment. Yeah, there's there's a little strum that happens here. We can't really hear anything. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in parentheses. That, that satisfies me. Oh no, guys, we've just had a catastrophic failure. You know, we didn't think the end days would ever come, but they they just came. It's here. It's the end of days. Um, we were working on this beautiful transcription, this beautiful transcription that I had admittedly failed to save. I had not hit the save button once. So there's that. That's an oopsie do. And that's totally on me. And I will accept the blame on that. But what I will not accept the blame for is Guitar Pro crashing and us losing all of our work. <laughs> So, oops, um, let's see, um, we might be able to do something here. We might be able to solve this. Surely everything will be all right. Don't panic, I'm not panicking. No one here is panicking. Um, maybe I can just open my own stream. We can go, you know, copy off teacher for a second, real quick. These things happen, guys. These things happen. You know, sometimes, sometimes stuff's gonna happen. Um, and don't, don't get all high and mighty on me. Don't, don't act like you guys save your work or something. I know you guys don't save work. All right, here we go. There's, there's the streamception happening up in the corner. Y'all see that? We're, we're literally tra traveling through a live stream wormhole. So we can get back to where we were at. Okay. You guys get to see just my my raw typing skills. <laughs> oh man. Don't worry. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. We'll get back to where we were in a second. I promise. There's no added stress in doing this live or anything. This will be fine. 
Not worried about it. You're not worried about it. No one's worried about it. And a doodly do here, a doodly do there. Some of these doodles, some of them doodles. A little copy, a little paste. Maybe a little bit of a chromatic walk up to the third of the C chord. <laughs> and guess what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna save. You save it, you save it right away. Cause this time, if it happens again, we'll be ready. You know, we're ready to go. There we go. I skip ahead when I've transcribed a little bit more in this stream. Uh, let's see. This is like the most confusing thing to look at. I have like all these windows open and they're all the same thing. And it is very unnerving. <laughs> uh, okay, so he does this. And then this over here. Great Scott. All right. There's all that cross picking done. Someone should have been timing me. We should have set up a timer. How long it takes Marcel to get back where he was. How much of the stream we wasted just so Marcel could write the same thing again. That's one time, two times, three times, four times. Nice, nice, good, wonderful, love it. Yeah, I think the most tragic part is we have to relive, you know, these classic live stream moments. Uh, like, for instance, when we watched a bunch of Japanese bluegrass in the middle of this transcription, and now I have to, like, quickly shuffle around that footage <laughs> so I can get back to the transcribing. Okay, we got this, we got that. <laughs> All these fun double stops. Thank you, Billy. Love writing two notes when one note would have done. All right. This is the this is the Japanese bluegrass moment. Okay. Skipping ahead. Skipping ahead. Cool. Hey, we should save again. Everyone, save your work. Okay. Also, as I as I retype this down, I don't remember <laughs> writing any of it. It's like I just I black out and on the other side there is a full transcription. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continuing. Uh, all right, so a little slide. I said, hey, I think he plays that note again. And then I wrote this. I'm not sure I knew how he got out of that. Did I ever get there? Oh no, I think we're I think we're caught back up. I think we're caught up to the to the fatal moment. Oh man. See that wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad at all, guys. We did it. The world is saved. Along with my work. My work is also saved. Um, let's get four bars on a line again. Someone go back to the moment that the program crashed and tell me how long it took me to get back to this moment. Please tell me it was less than five minutes, let's say. Okay. Oh yeah, right, we were writing down a strum at the end of this. Um, I think I had it wrong now. Yeah, it sounds like he ends right there, then you get this big strum. And like he, he does another like chunk of cha, but he runs out. You can't really hear what's happening back here. 
Um, uh, six minutes. Thank you, Joey. Joey, that's not bad. I said under five, but six will do. Um, hey, if if any of you need a, a professional to run Guitar Pro for your, you know, your small business, give Marcel and Marcel a call. Brian, you're blacking out. It's like 1 p.m. over here, dude. If you're on the West Coast, like, not better. <laughs> if you're on the West Coast, it's like 10 a.m. <laughs> Da do da do da da da. Looks like he was bending it too. gonna write this he kind of starts stepping away I, I I have no idea what happens I'm sorry I'm sorry everyone some stuff I'll write a note so I remember why this is unfinished I'm gonna write um, steps away from microphone He's kind of, he's getting real strummy and he's stepping away. I don't think I can grab any detail out of that. My B. Which means that we wrote this whole thing again so I could transcribe like a measure and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's always right at the end, ain't it? Uh, love it. Adore it. Okay. So we should probably get all the little notes in here. We're going to write uh, Billy's Break. Uh, we got to get the title in there. And then, oh man, we got like a million artists. Um, let's see if I can copy and paste this. Nope. There we go. All right, I'm gonna slam in some pick strokes. You know how we do. Um, cool. Uh, Chris Mack says, the train that carried my girl from town, Brian Sutton for Fort Summit. I already suggest that one earlier today. We might have to go check that out. I feel like we've been doing a lot of Brian Sutton, um, which is good. I'm not against that at all. Uh, I think we should probably get some more. It sounds cool. Save your work, hey, Brian. Thank you. Everyone save your work. Um, Pride of Man, Tony Rice. Yeah, I guess we haven't done that one. Um, I think he's just alternating pick strokes right here, if I had to guess. So I'm going to write him like that. I'm writing like real cross picking too, because I think Billy's a down, down, up kind of guy. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry forever. Um, cool. We're saving our work. We're double saving our work. Um, let's. Why don't we pop in some chords in here real quick too? Why not? Um, this isn't like that Steve Earle song where I'd have to figure out the chords. Um, so each of these is just a line. My wife and I is Cool. There's a bunch of accidentals here that need to be fixed in the sheet music. Joey, 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 I bet you can see all these accidentals that need to be fixed. 
Most people don't notice, but I notice. And it it kills me. Oh, it's because my key signature is wrong, too. Yikes. Why does it say G? I don't even notice because that's what like my main template is. Isn't G because I transcribe so much stuff in G. I don't even notice that I have like the wrong setup going. All right, let's slam through it. Get all these fixed so quick. Hey, Guitar Pro, if you're listening, make this like an automatic feature. Let me put in my preferences for how I want my accidentals done. Um, or if this is already a feature, someone tell me how to use it because I don't know where it is. Uh, cool. We save our work. We move on with our lives. Nice. Okay. What we got here? Apparently that. Oh, uh, what are we looking at? Mike Compton and Chris Eldridge, Squirrel Hunters, the Mandolin Break. Um, oh man, I'm not. I'm not going to do a mandolin to guitar break. I think that's too crazy for me right now. Uh, Marcel, why have you never transcribed a break solo from Clarence White? I don't know, man. That's a good question. Um, uh, some of the, I guess, some of the Clarence White recordings are are a little sloppy. Um, that's just the way he played, so they're kind of hard to transcribe. But there's also a ton of great Clarence White transcriptions already out there. Um, so a lot of times, you know, if an artist already has like good transcriptions, I don't do it because someone else has already done it. Um, you know, there's, there are some like moments where I don't agree with the transcriptions. The Tony Rice book is a great example. So I feel like I got to like redo those. Like, you know, the world needs like good copies of those. So I try to do them again, but yeah, we should do some Clarence. I'm not, I'm not against that or anything. There's no reason. Um, And some of those higher ones, Billy is down on the middle string and up on the outside strings. Oh, so he's, you're saying he's alternate picking, the cross picking? He could be. Um, you know, just doing what I do. Oh, we're not going to do more Billy. I don't know how anyone else feels, but I like just hanging out with your brother. <laughs> All right, let's start listening to some stuff. I'm seeing you guys chomping at the bit. Um, transcription racing might be something you could do with Mando Hat or Banjo Pen. That was a good comment. Um, all right, let's see. There was, there was something I want to see. Oh, the train that carried my girl from town. Brian Sudden, Brad Ford Summit. Let's do that one. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to that. Let's see how doable this is. Because this is a suggestion that I heard earlier. And I want to get through those. I'm not, I'm honestly not super taken with this break. Unless I hear an uprising in the comments, I probably won't do this one. Um, all right, I see the, I see the Clarence requests. Let's do, let's look at one of those, Clarence White Dark Hollow. Cause I, I feel you guys on that. You, you hit me with the guilt. I got to do some Clarence. I wonder what I want to grab. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. I love James Stillner, and he probably nails it.
James Stillner is my hero. Dare I say, spirit animal. Let's see. Surely Clarence gets a break. Yeah, man, that's a good break. It seems like there's a couple of different um, recordings. Okay, even if there is a guitar break in that one, that, that sound quality is just not what I'm loving. I wonder if this is the same recording. Does that sound like the kick over here? Yeah, that's the same. This break is like 80% downstrokes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Clarence Wright was wearing a mask before it was popular. that um yeah guys why why, why why don't we just get into this one let's see this one let's rectify some clarence white wrongs that we have that we've committed we've gravely upset the clarence white fan base let's fix it Key of C, why don't we change our uh, key signature right now? Look at that, preemptively. tune with him. If you guys have never uh, done this, normally what I do if I want to get in tune with a recording, and this saves you some some fumbling um, if you're uh, if you're in a rush, like if you're transcribing or something, a lot of times I'll get one tune and string with him, one string in tune with him, one tune and string with him. And after I get a tune and string with him, um, I'll take my tuner and I will just keep bumping up the sense or taking down the, the sense until it, I guess not sense, uh, I guess hurts. But anyway, normally your, your tuner's in 440, definitely not sense, because that relationship is weird. But uh, so for instance, like right now, it feels like 449 maybe. And now that my tuner's in 449, my B string feels in tune, I can just tune everything else like that. And that's kind of a quick way to like use the tuner to, to full effect. And let's see if we did okay. Yeah. Damn, 
How does that chromatic line work? Anyway. In any case, maybe it'll make more sense when we're capoed up. when you gave up. Tied over the bar line. Why don't you guys take a look as well? <laughs> This is super light. He might just even be marking time with his hand. Um, excuse me. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Happens before the byline is tied over. So it sounds like a hammer on a pull off and then do down. Okay, let's get the timing now. I think it's that. I think that's the timing. Only one quarter note, maybe. He actually holds this pull off for a long time. This could be like a dotted eight sixteenth relationship. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> At some point it just gets more confusing. Recycling that G-Ron. I heard him slide, start to slide down too. And then, what chord are we going to? A C chord? Is that what he does? Jones. Mm -hmm. 
right. And then this is going to be tied over again. Everything has that um, the the preemptive B1 where on the and of four. Hey, goodbye forever, Dean. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you on Friday. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm glad you appreciate the streams and the videos, man. Thanks for watching. So, all right, so he had, just now he played a bluesy pickup, but how many beats did that note last is the question. Two beats. Do, do, da, do, do, da. Cool. stop I'm assuming there's a little something right there I'm gonna write the G string but there's for sure something there not sure I heard that super loud either up and back down. Maybe B flat right there. Maybe G. So open G right here again. This one is also open G, I was correct. I also hear the double stop, so I can take those out of parentheses. Um, sounds like he's going back up. Definitely a hammer on. This note twice, second time it's hammer on. It sounds like he's gonna repeat it. be off the beat, shouldn't it? Uh, da, 
da, da, da. Um, I don't know if this was open or third fret. I've already forgotten. This note is very quiet. I'm gonna go with the open D. This same ending, we've seen it a couple times today, but I think he's putting it off the beat at the very end. Get that all on the screen. Let's do a little bit of that. situations where it's easy to just read all the notes but to capture all of the groove and syncopation and stuff you just have to know the break better spend any more time learning how to play it but you know just enough to, to prove that it's right um yeah clarence white and uh hello. save your work <laughs> <laughs> after writing that entire one without saving my work i'm just like oh yeah let me remind you let me tell you what you should do you should save your work all right you know what time it is. It's that time again. It's that time where I fuss over accidentals and then I write in a million pick strokes. If I don't do it now, that means I will never do it. And that means this tab will never be released. And Mike will be sending me messages like, Marcel, we need to put that thing out. Will you finish that? And I'll be like, listen, Mike, who works for who? And then I'll take a nap in the middle of the day. Um, something like that. That's something, uh, that's a good example of what the Lessons with Marcel offices are like. It's a, I would call it a toxic work environment. Um, and I would say that there's probably like 90% more napping taking place than, than needs to. Um, I would also like to say that we are very productive, weirdly, and yet it feels like we get nothing done. <laughs> Uh, okay. Almost done. Come on. Ooh. 
we put in some names. We put in the little text that says break starts. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Finish line in sight. There it is, folks. That's another um it's another successful tab for the stream. It's we're we're still chugging along. All right. Let's hang out for a little bit, guys. Come on, you gotta be, you gotta be at least a little bit tired like me. Let's talk some music. Mickey says, dude, that's sick. Thanks, Mickey. Um, Mickey, I missed you showing up, but that's all right. Um, the mass thumbs down bandits. <laughs> yeah, happy to help you guys get this one. Uh... Yeah, and, and that'll solve that problem. We'll have more clearance on the website, which is like, good. That's what I want. Um, I got to at least take like the tiniest little break. Um, I got to stand up because I've been sitting down in that chair for like two hours and it starts to starts to hurt, uh, starts to hurt my legs, starts to hurt the old derriere. <laughs> uh, so tell me about your lives, man. Entertain me now. I've been transcribing some stuff. Just tell me what's going up. Can you teach us how to do some flat footing too? <laughs> Let me tell you this. No. <laughs> no, I cannot teach you any flat footing. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe one day we'll bring a, a flat footing expert on here. What's the name of that, uh, that girl that does all the, um, like, fiddle videos where she dances too? Um, please someone, Lindsay Sterling, you guys have seen this. Yes. This is like the most bizarre content I've ever seen. And I have to share it with someone at some point, but right, guys, just, just take some of this in. This is the future of bluegrass. This is what it is. It's dancing and cowboy outfits and <laughs> and whatever this is. Get ready. <laughs> oh man. I'm glad. I'm glad we watched that on stream. That's that's the future of music, guys. That's it. I hope you guys are excited for my new album because that's basically what it is. We choreographed a bunch of dances. Anyone going to Summer Camp Fest close to Chicago? I, I know about that one, man. Billy String, Stickley, Yonder Mountain all going to be there? Nice. Yeah, that sounds like a fun one, dude. Mickey, you're still working on the folk opera? I love to hear it, man. You got to get that thing out. You're guilty like me, man. You gotta get those albums out. Joey says, that's enough, thank you. <laughs> jo Joey, I've, I, you've made me listen to some much worse music. <laughs> uh, K-pop, EDM, folk, <laughs> Mad Max, Bluegrass. Oh, I love this, you guys. You guys are great. I'm glad you have a uh, you guys appreciate Lindsey Sterling on the same level that I do. Oh man, yeah. Let's let's listen to some of Joey's favorite music. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kick up kick on a jam here. It starts with a drum solo. Uh, here we go. You know this one. You guys know this one. Sing along. Get in there. Don't tell me you don't know this. It's not it's not exactly bluegrass. It's it's coming. Wait for it. Vocals are about to hit.
Charles name is foot 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 I never find him home I go to his house knock at his door people <laughs> come out and say <laughs> That's why drums are outlawed <laughs> <laughs> the shags are classic man all right let's see i'm gonna i'm gonna tell the story of the shags and let's see if i can not butcher it so this guy uh their their father went to like a fortune teller and they were like hey you're gonna you're gonna marry a woman with like brown hair and blue eyes and he did she was like you're gonna move to whatever city and he did basically she predicted a bunch of things they all came true for him but the last thing that she predicted was that he would have three daughters and that they would be, you know, a musical sensation. And so he had his three daughters and he immediately bought them a bunch of instruments and he gave them no lessons. And then he sent them to a recording studio to record an album. And they're called the Shags. <laughs> and this is their music. Um, so this <laughs> this father just forced his kids to be musicians because, you know, some fortune teller told him that he would have amazingly musical children. And, and this happened. This beautiful, beautiful album. I love it. <laughs> oh, I should transcribe some stash. That's actually a crazy idea. Uh, let's see if I can pull some of that up. Um, I want that video of him doing the waltz. Can't spell his name. Stash, get an easier name. Oh, there we go. Um. <laughs> Brian M. Terrible. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I like this. This show and tell has become just brutal, and I can I can see the viewers just dropping on the stream, which plummeting into nowhere. Okay, here's another banger. The Kentucky Wall. Stash, by the way, let me say about this one. Stash is a, a fabulous guitar player, and he plays some like weird atonal stuff. It's like the deconstruction of what bluegrass is expected to be. It's you know weird modern art stuff, uh, but it's very cool. It's just it's out there. Um, he's definitely got some more recordings that are more listenable. We're definitely watching this one for a little bit of the meme of it. Stash, if you ever see this, I love you. Um, but we're going to goof on you a little. This would be the hardest thing to transcribe in the world, especially if you did like the, the vocal part too. This would, I don't think this would be an easy transcription. <laughs> I'd love to Mickey, <laughs> but I'd have to pick a different one. <laughs> oh God. Mike, you just sent me something. I'll check it out. Oh man. <laughs> I like that there's this whole <laughs> you, you guys are wonderful I like that there's this whole side conversation about like festivals and where you should go this and that and that <laughs> and I'm over here playing like the worst DJ in the world uh, I'm glad I love I love this <laughs> <laughs> uh mike it looks like you sent me uh like a stanley brothers video <laughs> okay all right we'll put this on this is what you want me to teach everyone to do
I don't. I, I mean, we could do a we could do a, a, a transcription of the tap dancing, if anything. What's his bass player's name? It's the bass player, right? I feel like I read about this in the uh, in the Ralph Stanley book, right? Because George Shuffley's playing bass right now. Um, whatever his name is. Yeah, Mike. One day, one day I'll have the skills to do this, and we'll do it. But today, it's not that day. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. <laughs> Hell yeah, them stocking feet. Oh, Joey. You know the talking feet. We gotta look at that. Uh, Chick Striplin. That's that is a hell of a name. That that is a, a sick name. <laughs> uh, what's the uh, archival footage? The um, y'all know the one that I'm talking about. I feel like people always bring up this piece of footage. One of these is Joey's granddad. Um, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. <laughs> uh, hey, Marcel, you planning on being at IVMA? Yeah, hell yeah, man. I'll be there. I live like, you know, 30 minutes away or something. I'm super close. Chick Stripling got sent home from the European tour for being too drunk. That sounds like old Chick Striplin. Sounds like something he would do. Um, I get it. I get it, Chick. I understand. That's funny, man. Are you all planning on being at IBMA? Is anyone here going to be at IBMA? I mean, Chick Porter, I assume you are. I watched this whole documentary about bluegrass. I feel like that, um, I, I know that that's part of a, a bigger chunk of footage, but I don't think that that is necessarily a bluegrass documentary. It's kind of like a, just like a folk Appalachia kind of thing, right? It's not, it's not bluegrass. Um, maybe in the like larger bluegrass definition, <laughs> but certainly not in the, in the stricter one. Uh... Man, is there anything we missed? I mean, I know the last suggestion was like forever ago, but was there was there any like banger transcriptions that we missed today? I don't want to like, I don't want to bounce and there was something I really wanted to do. Um, <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Someone said Lester Flat break on Cumberland Gap. And I think that Lester Flat's got a break on that. You can Gap, bet we're going to transcribe. And Lester Flat. <laughs> but I don't think he does. <laughs> Man, I wished. I hoped and prayed. I thought he was going to take the like the the old G run over and over again solo. Maybe he does in some recording. But not in that one. That would have been a funny one. <clears throat> Brian, I see you trying to double dip, brother. Um Norman Blake flat picker starting at 220. Oh, this is like, you're sending me like deep cut weird stuff. We, we don't even know the name of the tune. Mystery. Um, sounds like Randall Collins. <laughs> it's Randall Collins.
Mike, Mike, can I get a uh, a reading from the from the archive? Did we already do a Randall Collins? And was it not this video of Norman Blake? Um, the only person in the world that would know is Mike. Um, or me, because I just looked it up on my own website. It looks like we did the Billy Strings Randall Collins, I think. Um, so I don't think we've done this Randall Collins. Joey's freaking out. Brian, doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask, man. Squeaky wheel and all that. <laughs> Joey, Randall Collins, but it goes into a fiddle tune. No, this is Randall Collins still, baby. And I feel, I feel so much like I've written this down before. I feel it deep in my heart and my soul and my bones. I feel I have transcribed this. I know I have. Um, let's see, maybe it's just hidden somewhere in the deep, dark recesses of the Lessons with Marcel archive. But I swear I've written some of this down for some student at some point. <clears throat> I requested it before. Marcel said he covered Randall Collins by Billy Strings. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. We got answers. We got answers. So yeah, I didn't, um, maybe I didn't do this one. I did a Billy Strings. And I'm just mixing them up in my mind. Um, could be that. Could be that. And fifteen dollars is my game. Fifteen is my draw. Lord Randall Collins did my name down in Arkansas. Fifteen is my draw. Yes, Randall Collins did my name down in Arkansas. This one. I wrote down this break for a student. Um, Joey's right. What you're asking for is, is a fiddle tune. Down in Arkansas. So it's not even Randall Collins anymore. Let's see how long the break is. If it's too long, I I can't do it because we've already been going for two hours. Um, I'd I'd be into doing it. I see what you guys are looking for. I gotcha. But if if it's like a, you know a minute and a half of fiddle tune, I I probably don't have the time to do it. So Yeah, he's still got a whole like B part to do. This is gonna go on for like another 30 seconds. Hang on. Yeah, I, I'm i sorry guys, I, I can't do this. This is almost a minute of break. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a next time one. Uh, but uh, please, I'm like the guy from, you know, Memento, you gotta, you gotta, remind me of this whole conversation be like hey we we asked for randall collins before and then you were gonna do it but you ran out of time can you do it this time and then i'll do it um otherwise 
<laughs> Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. All right, who's got... Let's do it this way. Who's, who's got something really, really short? Um, who's got, like, the, you know, uh, almost like we did the uh, that, that Tony Rice one? His kick to... Uh, guys, my, my brain is leaving my body. I can't remember anything. I'm having an out-of-body experience. The only true way to express my emotions is by... <laughs> Listening to this again. This is what's happening inside of me. This is who I am now. <clears throat> All right, who's got something short? Um. <laughs> uh. Sotel, high rise, 99 years. Did we already do that? Someone tell me if we already did that. I'm not sure we've ever done a 99 years. I think we have. I don't think we have. Huh? Yeah, doing my time. See? Jim knows. Jim knows what I'm talking about. Goodbye forever, Joey. I love you. Yeah, cool, we can do this. <laughs> the Bluegrass Police did do this one. <laughs> oh, it sounds like he's actually in tune too. Oh, we're still sharp. Soon. <clears throat> and I think they're in B. B is the mash key. We want to mash. Here we go. Like a super fast slide. Like some one of those. One dark day. Interesting. It's like he's going up both times. Wow, wow. 
There you go. Oh, what did I do? There we go. Uh, he misses a bass note. He does do a strum and then hits another bass note. I see my mistake. Um, it's it's funny. What 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 you don't notice? Yeah, it's supposed to be that. It's supposed to be that. I just had it. I I didn't have enough of these. It wasn't going into the next bar. I'm an idiot. There's a problem right here. I hear it. It's more arpeggio like, and this is really quiet. Timing is something right there. Let's figure it out. So this is coming in off the beat at the end of that measure.
Yeah, this is uh, Eric. You're right. Hard to transcribe uh, because of the swinging for sure. Okay, we need a point of reference. All right, so we know that we're gonna end up B1 over there on G. I know that the last line before anything else happens is uh, one of these. And this happens on the beat. Do down. So this is gonna be a pickup. I'm just having a beat too. It happens on beat three. So I can write it like this. that it's probably as close as you're gonna get uh, Marcel I asked you about this before and you said when you do it could I trouble you to do thank you mr. Martin the 18 song Tony's break after the chorus um, yeah dude I mean that that is definitely something we can do this is kind of my last one for the day though um, once again if uh, if you if you show up for the next stream just a little bit earlier, remind me of that and I'll definitely do it, man. I'm trying to get to like everyone's suggestions and like I just can't do it, dude. You know, it's like it's an uphill battle. I'm doing my best. Um, this would be that slide down. Let's see, this felt like... Maybe it was starting on the C? Is a pre band release pushing that C sharp up to D. Oh, that is the wrong kind of band I just put in. I need that pre band release. There it is. All right, these feel like they're very on the beat, too. And this is, this is, of course, one big hammer on right there. Right. 
Okay. I think we've seen this lick in almost every single transcription we've done today. Over G chords, over C chords. Hits it up before again. Just doing one of these. Maybe up to the G. Da, da, do, do, da. Da, do, da. Hey, save your work. I get to the end and I panic. Uh, 99 years. Much more pentatonic, not diatonic, pentatonic. There's there's eighth notes in here. This isn't this isn't the line. He actually plays this. It's just quiet. All right, that's the break game. is some approximation of it. The, the, the rhythms are correctly notated here. It's just hard to read super quickly. I ain't perfect. Sorry, I did some info. Um, 99 years. And this is Sawtell's break. And 
And let's put in the big strokes. <laughs> you know that time. That time again is pig stroke time. <laughs> uh, you know, the part where you have to hang out while I write in 300 million pig strokes. Because Guitar Pro is still yet to make a feature that will automatically just put in alternating pick strokes. What can you do, you know? All right. I bet some of these pick strokes aren't what uh, Sautel actually plays, but they're close enough. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure there's some weird accidentals in here that are worth fixing. Although I got, I still got to put in the capo. Oh, let's do that. It's going to be capo four. Um, I wonder if that fixes some of the accidentals. It kind of does actually. Um, oh, it's because my key signature is wrong. Oh, still got to fix these. Cool. Yeah, guys, as soon as I wrap this one up, we're probably calling it for the day. So if you got any last minute questions or concerns, you let me know. Because um, we're just making this one look pretty. And we're probably done for the day. Uh, but I still got some work to do. I still got to put in some chords and stuff. In this prison, 20 years or more, I shot my woman with the 44. Oh, there's <laughs> there's a there's another line down there. I was like, how did I how do I not have enough like space for all the chords? Uh, forty four right here. One dark day, yeah, cool. Works out perfectly. Love it. And that's it. Nice and pretty. It's done. All right, what's up, gang? <clears throat> Is it beer 30 yet? It's not beer 30 yet. It's it's family in town time. Uh, I know you'll do Larry Sparks under the eagle. Under the double eagle. Yeah, Gary. Suggest that one again next time. We will make that happen. I promise. Hey, what's up, everyone? These, they, <laughs> these still people shouting hi. We're about to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, this has been a good one. This has been this has been a great stream. We've been going for a while, gang. Although I feel like as I as we do more of these, it's more fun to like hang out longer and longer because like you guys are down to hang out, which makes it fun. Um, when will these be up on the site? Uh, probably in a week. Um, Mike is the uh, the guy that's in charge of that now. Um, and he's been killing it, by the way. There's tons of new tabs up on the website, so you should go check them out. He's basically been going through all of my, like, need to put on the website, and he's been putting them up there, and he's, like, he's killing it, man. There's, there's so much new stuff on the website. Um, the library is going to, like, double in no time. Um, how did my gig go last week? My gig was good, guys. Um, it was a good one. Uh, I'm not going to be playing that gig for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to have more time on Tuesdays. Maybe that means that our streams will go even later. We'll see. Um, great stream. Thankful for all the work you do. Hope to see I hope to see you for some lessons soon. Yeah, man. Get in touch for lessons whenever you want. Anyone who uh, is interested in Skype lessons, it's me and a couple other teachers. Uh, we teach most days. Um, all you have to do is go to the website, sign up for Skype lessons. That's it. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't have much else to say. Uh, you guys have already, you know, done plugs for all the things I have to say. But yeah, check out the merch, sign up for Skype lessons. Tabs will be up on the website soon. There's already a bunch of other free tabs that you can grab. You guys are all super fans, though. I know you all already know that. I don't need to tell you guys. Um you want to see the stash break on Lonesome Moonlight Waltz? Probably not going to transcribe any stash anytime soon. Uh, thanks for hanging out, y'all. I'm going to see you all next time. <laughs> so I'll do a count to lead it in. One, two, three, four...
the other instrument that I have is one that I've played, uh, I think, more than I have any other. Now, the instrument is very well found. It's a custom-made ovation. If I were you, I wouldn't take a prejudice to guitars that have plastic backs. Tighter sound. sound. Tighter sound. Tighter sound. Feel free to experiment around with it. things I should mention now is that first off neither the rhythm through there nor the improvising part over the rhythm were what I would consider the ideal.